In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a distressed effect and apply it to a symbol. Now, the symbols I'm going to be using are from graphicextras.com twirl sets. So, I've actually opened the library already, but the way to open the library is via the window, symbols, and then the palette will appear, and open symbol library, and you can open the via the other library. And like I say it's already open there, so it's available there. Right. Now, just going to go to the symbols. Now I've obviously got, as soon as I select the symbol, they appear in the symbols palette. I'm just going to select that one, drag it over there to the artboard, and just resize that. Now, to actually apply distressed effects, you could just edit the symbol, break link, and then just apply effects as, as, as you wish. But if you want to keep it as a symbol, you can use it via the appearance. So window, appearance, and so appearance palette is here. Add new stroke, and then you will see this thin black line. And I'm just going to quickly resize that so it's a six point, just so you can see it a bit better. And now I've got some. There's a little palette here. That's for the swatches. And I've actually got some swatches already selected. These are standard ones, but these ones are from Graphic Extras. They're X Design patterns, and I'm, I can just apply those. Now I've loaded those via the swatches palette. There's a swatches palette here. And again, that's the same thing. You can just go right side, open Swatch Library, and go and open that library. Right. So you can just go through it and just apply, creating a distressed effect, very simply, using those designs. There's one, basically a very simple one. Now, if you want to create a slightly more complicated one, you can go to the menu again and add new stroke. And just going to add a slightly bigger size. And I'm going to add change the swatch so you can create a slightly more complicated design now you might want to resize the um, obviously the stroke so i mean you can obviously just keep uh, changing the increase in size i mean uh, so just go like that make it slightly bigger but another way around that is to do the object transform and scale now of course you can obviously resize, but you can't rotate. So here's transform, rotate, but also scale. I'm just going to go and use the scale one. So scale, and for some weird reason it comes with minus 14 initially. Anyway, who knows? So object, deselect that, because you don't want to size the actual object itself. You just want to do the patterns. And I'm just going to quickly change the scale to 56 or another size, say 120, whatever, to create a distressed effect. And so you can see the change to the stroke. Click OK. Right. Quick distressed symbol.